So, dear colleagues, I'd like to start with the words uh, that we know all. So, these are the words uh, which were written and said 150 years ago. Uh, Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy, when I started, when I started to leave, uh, if I didn't uh, leave that time, when I understood uh, uh, how to hear, how to listen, how to see, and right now I'm still living, I've acquired such many things that all my other life I haven't got uh, not even one hundredth. It, this is just uh, one step from me when I was five. And uh, uh, from when I was the fattest till I was born, this is uh, uh, the great times. So he actually raised the issues, uh, this issue which uh, the modern psychology is working on like now, and the many other areas that is being, uh, uh, that is uh, dealing with psychology and psycholinguistics and others. So the development is the key in the development, uh, in the uh, psychology. So, so sorry for this technical issue. Uh, so, uh, dear colleagues, we'll have. Uh, uh, the uh, video record of people who has uh, who have been dealing uh, with uh, the psychology and you will see them on the slide and i'd like to uh, to speak about the things that are devoted to the development of young kids uh, so and we'll we'll see them on the slide Sorry for these technical issues. I'd like to focus not on all uh, the area of the early childhood, but some particular parts. So in my small uh, presentation, it's not possible to cover everything. One of the most important areas and directions that is being developed right now is this is a longitude uh, researches that uh, allow to understand the uh, reason and consequent uh, relations how one influences the other. So we understand the reasons and uh, consequences in the development. This is uh, the metaphor. As a telescope a Hubble for the uh, social studies, as one of our German colleagues said. So, unfortunately, there is still this technical issue. So, I uh, would like the slides still to be. Uh, so that you understand better, and for me that would be a tip. So I'd like to cover this longitude researches. Mainly I would speak uh, mostly about the foreign studies, as unfortunately in our countries we do not have the um, large-scale uh, longitude studies. We haven't had them pro practically, and uh, I would touch upon the main results that we've got in the world science. One of such uh, famous and uh, famous uh, researches, this is uh, Britain uh, researches, uh, British uh, researches. Uh, 
uh, cohort researches that uh, have been uh, lasting for several decades. I'd like to cover some results which are important for us. We understand uh, that we when we want to develop the education, the process of upbringing, we need to know the fundamental process which happen in the psychological development. And uh, this is uh, one of uh, the researches, small researches of the British uh, cohort researches that showed that uh, from the very bur burn of the kid at least So the result of such research gave uh, positive and interesting, important results for understanding the development. First of all, this is understanding of uh, the initial steps and how do, do, uh, how do they influence the early development. It's important to understand how the early development influenced the kid. So, for example, such important for all of us, this is a way to, uh, when uh, the, uh, the, the birth is given to the kid. So the higher the weight, the better is the cognitive development of the kid. So these uh, results also showed there is a, a special uh, connections uh, between the unwell connections, psychological uh, uh, disturbances, uh, different uh, psychological pathologies, uh, no parent, no parents, and others do influence a lot the, de uh, de the development. So another uh, longitude uh, research is uh, Quebec. So here we see the uh, trajectory of the development of the kid. So this research that is still going on and have been started many years ago. Uh, so it uh, the, the research starts from five months till uh, the kid uh, is the teenager of 15, 16 years. Old in the framework of this research that was shown and evaluated the trajectory of the development of the kids. So we have different groups of kids and the type of their development is di they're different from each other. Here we see the three groups of kids on the parameters, uh, physical aggression, depression, uh, anxiety. So uh, these uh, kids uh, keep uh, such uh, uh, parameters, let's say, uh, for a lot for a long period. So high uh, aggression have uh, has a lot of predictors: uh, mother's depression, alcohol uh, consumption of mother, low self-esteem not enough profit, so all these problems that happen in the families. So in this research, they were evaluated the hardships so in the relations with the, uh, uh, with the friends in the kindergarten. The uh, age trajectories are being developed very accurately. There is a group of kids with a high uh, points of um, being uh, having hardships with relations with the kids with the same um, age and in influences for a long period of time. As well, we have here the results of uh, the research that have been uh, uh, lasting for eight years. This is hyperactivity 
and uh, breaks in uh, focusing the attention. So these are different groups of kids with the different uh, developments. So kids who have uh, high uh, points, these are the kids who finally uh, suffer with a syndrome of deficit of attention and disturbances of attention and focusing. This group with a high trajectory that you saw in the slide that were connected uh, with the points that in mothers they had uh, early um, uh, uh, early uh, uh, birth. Uh, the, the mother was young and uh, there was the influence of alcohol. So that was the reason of hyperactivity and uh, breakage uh, disturb uh, disturbances in attention and focusing. There are some uh, longitude uh, researches that f that our colleagues from London University uh, has been doing uh, for 30 years. Uh, these uh, kids uh, uh, who had uh, prenatal birth, uh, they had uh, more behavioral uh, disturbances in the age up to 18 years. Uh, they have uh, these uh, issues that you see on the slide. So these problems are being more controlled in the other age, in more mature age. But let's say, uh, let's speak about the operate, operative memory. That is the basis uh, for calculation and in real, in our normal life. So the person uses. So the premature, uh, the kids with premature birth uh, have different uh, points from the normal one. So this uh, deficit of the working memory uh, is uh, decreasing with time, but it does not disappear. So another longitude researchers evaluate the influences of some effects. Here we see the results of uh, the research. There was a group of kids so, uh, uh, with the low points uh, from poor families. They were divided uh, uh, into, two, uh, into several groups. Uh, uh, well, up to the second grade, these differences uh, uh, disappear, and uh, these groups were developed and trained differently with different intensity of education. But still, in these kids, uh, uh, these kids have better educational results and are more successful. For the last uh, uh, decades, we have an interest in psychology and in medicine as well to the researchers which are longitude. So these are the logos of uh, large-scale researches that started at the early uh, t uh, thousand years. So these are great uh, researches that uh, we do not have in Russia. Uh, the further the, uh, the methods of uh, researches are being developed, that let's say the developers and uh, researchers have more and more interest in the pre-school uh, years. This is a large-scale area which is being focused on right now. It attracts a lot of attention. I uh, mentioned here on the slide the logos, uh, the longitude researches from the prenatal uh, period and the birth of the child and early years. So uh, this is the uh, target uh, audience. So in order to understand why do uh, why we need uh, these uh, researches, in we we need to understand uh, the importance of the biological processes. We need to understand the development and this behavioral genetic and other factors in the development of the kids are very important. Only using these factors we can understand the real development. So I uh, 
uh, want to show you Ronald Hyatt's uh, model. This is uh, the results of the structural modeling. But the sense is clear here. The formation of antisocial behavior depends on many factors. It requires many uh, analysis in order to understand the effect. We need to understand how these uh, uh, effects work together. Uh, because uh, we all understand uh, well that the period uh, when genetical uh, characteristics and the environments uh, were uh, divided, that uh, happened l a long time ago because it's uh, always interaction of these uh, two factors. Uh, at present, that's why there were developed a, a range of methods which provide for division uh, of the influence of uh, different uh, factors. And here we see the methods that are used in modern psychogenetics. And uh, one of the important methods is the twin method. So when we compare the monozygote and dizygote uh, twins, uh, which have uh, differences uh, in uh, genetic characteristics, and by assessing the twins, uh, we can evaluate uh, the contribution of the genetic factors. These are analysis methods and the main result and the main outcome I would like to show to you. According to many studies, there is a high role of genetic factors uh, in a big range of psychological characteristics. And uh, I would like also uh, to uh, mention uh, the work of our colleagues we closely collaborate with, uh, which is uh, one of the most important uh, longitude studies of twins, uh, early development uh, study, which is headed by Robert Plomey. And within uh, this uh, project, uh, they received lots of exciting information, not only of genetic uh, type, but uh, also uh, developmental information. One of these uh, uh, data we see here, the curves of uh, development uh, in uh, boys and girls are at first uh, uh, different, and they meet in one point uh, and once again in the second point. So cognitive development uh, is not even in uh, boys and girls. Uh, and uh, one uh, of the most uh, important uh, results of, of this uh, study uh, is uh, that, well, it may seem uh, strange, but cognitive development and intellectual uh, development uh, is influenced uh, mainly by the genetic factors, and it's more and more evident. And what is interesting here, uh, and in our joint article, uh, we assess not only development of the intellect, but uh, also uh, the writing and mathematics skills. And it turned out in early childhood, those skills are uh, mostly influenced by the genetic factors. And another method uh, which uh, provides for a division of the factors which influence the development, which is uh, the method of forced families, of adoptive families, and biological a mother and a child. Uh, they have a joint uh, a genetic connection and they share it and also uh, they are shared by prenatal environment. Uh, these are two factors that uh, we cannot exclude, but uh, we can do that uh, for adoptive uh, families and here we can understand uh, what is influencing this or other factor. One of the examples are uh, the twins which grew together or which grew separately and were brought up separately. And uh, also, which provides for division uh, of uh, those factors. And any uh, process uh, is a process of joint actions uh, of genotype and the environment. And uh, in, uh, when we uh, take the forced family, uh, we uh, can uh, move away the genotype uh, of environmental uh, correlation, which uh, cannot be uh, taken away or deducted uh, when uh, there is a genetic connection between parents and children. And uh, all of those methods are quite useful, and they do not provide uh, for 
uh, taking into account the influence uh, during pregnancy on the child, and if a mother and uh, a child and uh, in uh, they have genetic uh, characteristics they share and uh, also uh, pre uh, uh, birth conditions and uh, and uh, also uh, recently there is a high uh, distribution and high a lot of use uh, uh, of uh, uh, birth uh, technology which is uh, IVO in vitro fertilization and here we can uh, distinguish between prenatal and natal uh, factors uh, prenatal uh, perinatal and natal factors and um, also uh, there are uh, diff uh, the well men's uh, moms and dad's cells are used to different extent and uh, also uh, we can compare different groups and evaluate accurately the influence of this or other factor i will skip that and there are uh, lots of interesting things here and i will not uh, speak about them what i mean to say is those studies in Russian psychology or science are almost absent. And very recently, we started similar work, this type of work. Uh, in 2014, in Tomsk University, uh, together with Goldsmith University, uh, we started a longitude study of such uh, families, uh, which uh, come from different IVO IVF uh, groups, uh, it's uh, surrogate mothers and donorship uh, of uh, cells. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, longitude study is a long one. We are waiting, we are recruiting uh, the pregnant moms, we are tracking them. And we have uh, several uh, waves of our studies. And uh, here, uh, wave uh, one, two, three, and four, and now we have uh, about 600 uh, children involved. And uh, you know, uh, this takes a long time eh, because uh, the children are born when their parents want them to be born. After we collect all of the data, we will present the results. And uh, also this uh, year, we started a similar uh, study starting from a pregnancy together with the Moscow Prenatal Center, which is aimed at analyzing the genetic and environmental factors and prenatal factors, how it influences psychological development of a child. And we are interested in the psychological development of the child in the first place, uh, because child's development uh, is uh, in a natal phase influences uh, his for development greatly uh, in addition to uh, natal uh, uh, factors there are epigenetic factors these are the environmental uh, factors uh, which uh, can increase or decrease gene expression and uh, which also can influence further development uh, greatly uh, of the child and uh, we need to divide those factors and i hope that a longitude uh, study it is a costly event, costly thing to do, and uh, I hope in the next uh, five years we will get uh, the outcomes we could discuss here with similar forum. And uh, well, this is a kind of a table. The economists uh, were uh, calculating investments into different stages of education, and we see that the biggest effect uh, of investment they pay back is for preschool programs and that is uh, where I would like to finish my presentation. The more we understand how the child is developing, the more we invest into a child's development, the better the effect we get in the development of our technological society. Thank you very much.